Mr. Nosy here. I don't think he's interested in trains though. Not unless they're edible. Well, the Lima PTA fleet has just increased by another nine. Another little eBay find. A couple without loads. I think one's got no weight in it. <coughs> I think the weight of these loads will make up for that if they have or haven't got them in. Some are a little bit heavier than others. A little bit of polystyrene and then some railway track ballast on top. They have put a fair old weight on them. Might have to redo them and lighten them down, depends on how big the loads are with everything else that goes in the rake. But uh, there haven't been many of the others coming up. I did want a few of the other ones just to finish off a, uh, a two wagon rake <coughs> or a single. I did find some footage with them on. I think there was about 28, 29 in a rake, which even in scale size is going to be a fair length because I think three and a half of these is a a yard of track but we do have another parcel but uh, I popped into work today just to say my cheerios uh, and pick that up in the antique center I, haven't, I would like to mark two Lima in the city but uh, they had this a little bit grubby I think, well, I think someone's had an attempt at weathering at it but um, it all goes to the collection. Some shiny metallic reflection off of something there, but um, again, that, that needs a hook as well, a lima hook, and a couple of these do. But I think some of the ones I ordered did come. And I also went for uh, a brand name airbrush as opposed to the cheap Chinese ones, although they do a very good copy of this it gives reasonable results I've got the standard airbrush version but um, I did find trying it when I got that compressor I did get a bit of fatigue in my hands with my condition so I decided I was gonna maybe think about spending 80 or 90 pound on these and this turned up second hand um, whoever used it never read any instructions about cleaning and aftercare um, so it was £45 and no one bit so they done a private offer of £40 and I mm, well save myself 40 50 quid for the sake of having to soak it all and strip it and clean it and get all the paint that's dried up in various parts of it so I've got some white spirit to uh, soak it in because I don't know whether it's enamel or acrylic paint but no, in my luck it will be enamel, so I've planned for the worst. Well, these are nice, another little find. Norfolk and Seven. But there's a problem. Can you spot what the problem is? Something big and black and it is missing. Excuse any background noise if you hear some rumbling. That'll be the, uh, I think the F-14s from the local US Air Force base. Probably now going on a train in sortie. So today we have not model railway, but rail railway, railway Ania. Rania, whatever you want to call it. Okay, we have some cast iron. Rusty cast iron. Oh. And a little bit of uh, made up. History. He's got some copies of the bits and pieces and a little bit of history um, from the days gone past. So wagon cards, which I'm going to use in one of my uh, glass cases. I've got some pictures of the local old radio railway stations and locomotives 
uh, at the South Lynn station where my dad was a young lad as a fireman back in the 40s and um, I have, I have a, they're not to hand at the minute but um, this is the lot numbers and bits and pieces he's put them in a laminated sheet you might be familiar with the English guys will be the uh, was they, the 16 ton little mineral wagons with the little diagonal white line that used to be on them, the tip of the wagons the BR 16 ton standard there was thousands of them during the heyday of the coal industry now many years ago I had a few of them uh, screwed to the wall of my shed, my, my railway shed. I quite often wondered, because obviously they're normally situated on the bar somewhere, and there'd be some other information plates that repaired or whatever. They obviously, there's one on each side. Uh, and when these have got broken up, people have sold individual plates, so it's quite unusual to be able to find a pair. A matched pair from a wagon or a locomotive or something. So these ones are unrestored. This is a Metro Camel from 1955. Now you can see that heavy sort of bitumous paint they used to use. That'll be handy for uh, I'll clean these up and paint them and use them for weighing down the track. Nice big thick. That's what you call patina. Or if you've ever owned a Ford, yeah. <laughs> we call it RUS. Or in the trade, the acronym for Ford is Fixed or Repaired Daily. Or Federation of Retarded Drivers. So, uh, is that the other one? No, this is the other one. A little bit uh, cleaner. Not quite so heavily rusted. This is off a 16 ton mineral wagon, as you can see. It says so on there. 16 ton. I've got several of these um, from various dates in the 50s and 60s. I've yet to find one a 67. I'll try a 67 one because obviously that'll be the same vintage as me. And uh, yeah, pack them individually. Here we go. So finally, am I getting them? That's the Metro Camel one. I was uh, bidding on the guys' listings. Let's get the rust off the table. And because uh, it was a pair, this Metro Camel. And I happened to, uh, I ended up paying 29 quid. I used to pay about 10 or 15 quid for them back in the uh, sort of noughties. And uh, I happened to see he'd got some on by it now that were cheaper than the one I'd just bid on. I wish I'd have looked first, I'd have just bought, bought a couple. So we actually do now have a pair of uh, wagon plates which is a bit more unusual because obviously people sold them and maximised the amount of money they were going to make they you'd sell a plate these are making sort of 15 20 30 pounds there are some more even ridiculously overpriced ones um, I'm after some London northeastern ones uh, but they're a bit pricey I did manage to pick one up for about twenty pounds with the post because obviously there's a fair bit of weight there, so they're not um, not the cheapest thing to post nowadays. So we have a pair of a sixteen-ton mineral wagon. I've got rust all over the table there, and uh, this one I'll research a bit more here. Do you have any Paperwork on this one. Oh, it is a 16 ton, so it's probably just the. Um, there's another Metro Camel Works, would be one of the manufacturers. 
so that one's a little bit heavier. It was 55, I think the other one was 53, wasn't it? So, not saying that. Harder life. Um, I can't put that in the frigging bin. So yeah, eventually that will go with my other ones. Repainted black with the lettering in white again and uh, put on the wall of the railway shed along with my other little bits of pieces like my lights and my driver BR torches and things to build up a little collection of the real real world things so if you want to see uh, I might just do a pictorial thing of these I have got a sandblasting cabinet um, which might be a little bit finer too fine for this sort of heavy stuff but I have got a handheld one looks a bit like a spray gun but uh, it fires out sand um, so I might film it I might just do a few picture stills and then just uh, what I'll do is I'll spray these in a rust inhibiting primer then paint them black and then do the lettering in white but again that'll be a put them away for now job and uh, I might clean them up if I feel inspired to do it and then just coat them in a primer and then uh, go from there.